My name is Ernest Shaw. Uh, I am an artist educator. I'm originally from West Baltimore. So part of my teaching uh, at Morgan State uh, dealt with understanding the role of the viewer in the art making process. The viewer, which can also be called your audience or the receiver, uh, or just as important a part of the creative process as the artist. The artist is the producer. The artwork in and of itself is the medium or is the transmitter of thoughts, feelings, emotions, narratives of the artist to an audience. They're not just uh, experiencing or trying to understand what the artist was trying to communicate. They bring a life's, they bring their own life's experiences. They bring their own prior knowledge, just like students in the classroom. They bring all that with them uh, and they create a relationship with the art. And in some way, shape or form, they become transformed. That's when that thing that's been created becomes art. So I try to create images with audiences in mind uh, or the viewer in mind. So there, there are even times when I may not title a piece because I don't want to sway or lead. Um, I, w I don't want to have any other influence on the viewer's experience. I want the viewer to have an authentic, raw experience with the work. It took me some time to recognize and to understand that I am not necessarily in control of the creative process. I began to really develop as an artist when I began to understand how to let go. And by let go, I mean to let the creative energy uh, or the creative pl process flow through me. So that actually has an impact on, again, what mediums I choose, what colors I choose, uh, what style I choose, because I often may paint in different styles, how large I may paint. When I finish a piece, it's almost as if I forgot how I created it when I go to create a new piece. I'm starting from scratch. The actual creation of a piece, it's almost as if I had never painted before when I go to start a new, a new piece. All the insecurities come right back. Uh, all the same struggles from start to finish. I don't believe in the word mastery for, for that very same reason. I don't believe you can master a thing. I believe it's always something that can be learned. So. So I run into those issues and pretty much every time I, I attempt to create.